Our next lightning talk will be by Ashish Laroya. Okay, hi everyone. Uh, I'm here to tell you about Sandstorm and how it makes deploying Meteor apps as easy as making a new Google Doc. So uh, I work at Sandstorm along with Jade, who you'll hear from soon. By the way, it's, I don't know, I've, anyway. My perspective here is very different than from when I was sitting there. Uh, so Sandstorm, one way to think about it is that it is an alternative to Google Docs. And another way to think about it is as a package manager for web applications. So you can think of this as the goal we have is to make an alternative to Google Docs that's open source, that people can control their own data and their own apps with. And so, hmm, hmm, OK. Uh, great. I don't really understand, but OK. Uh, yeah, it's a package manager for web apps. Uh, with an emphasis on security, I'll tell you a bit about that in a second. Uh, it's also a perfect fit for many kinds of Meteor apps. So. Uh, let me dive into the Google Docs thing. If you are, so many people here have probably used Google Docs. How many of you here have used Google's uh, services? Yeah, so they're really great in many ways. It's a lot like Microsoft Word, but now you can see your stuff on multiple computers at once. Uh, and Google Docs uh, has tools not just for writing text documents, but for writing spreadsheets and all sorts of things like presentations, uh, although this doesn't use that. Uh, and this is really great, but there is a privacy problem that results from this. It results in all of us giving our private information about the documents we're making and who we're collaborating with to Google. And for some of us, this is a privacy problem. For others, it isn't. But the kinds of people who do care about privacy are nonprofits that work with sensitive clients, uh, lawyers, journalists, people like me who care about running their own servers, and enormous companies who don't want Google knowing what they're working on. So uh, Sandstorm isn't just a service. It's open source software people can run on whatever machines they have uh, so they can self-host to fix that privacy problem. Uh, and I said it was a package manager for web applications. That's because Sandstorm, the Sandstorm team doesn't have time to rewrite every single Google Docs type app. The way that we achieve our goal is by packaging existing apps or having the open source maintainers of those existing apps create their own packages. Uh, the best Sandstorm apps are made by the team that maintains the package upstream, for example, EtherCalc, Hackerslides, and RocketChat. Let me show you that. So uh, oh, if I'm lucky, uh, so I, I think I'm going to do a live demo, but you know what they say. So. Uh, uh, Yes, better. Great. OK, so uh, I'm here. I'm loading up uh, one dashboard for a Sandstorm server. If you have Sandstorm installed on your own machine, it'll look a lot like this. Uh, I'm going to click on this menu icon and go to a new thing. The kind of thing I want to make is a rocket chat. So I'm going to click this button to make a rocket chat. And that starts the rocket chat app. Sure, I want to use this username. Great, and Rocket Chat has its own little menu, and there's a chat room called General. But there's just me inside here. Uh, I can invite people using Sandstorm to this instance. And I have a list of email addresses of nice people who have been willing to be invited. The mouse is so far. OK, I think that's send invite. Great, successfully sent. So uh, if I'm lucky, some of my friends will now join this chat room. While I wait for them, let me emphasize that Sandstorm is the one managing access control, not Rocket Chat. So that share UI that you saw was provided by the platform, not the app. So we get to apply the Google Docs sharing model to any open source web app, or even a proprietary web app that can run in Sandstorm. So uh, this is totally Rocket Chat, and we could join some channels. Uh, the very same thing that we saw earlier. Uh-oh. So uh, with only a few seconds left, uh, it's a good thing I didn't share this too widely, or else it might have been anyway. So uh, one thing I want to emphasize is that Sandstorm looks like a usability project and is secretly a security project. We really want people to be able to run these open source apps, apps of any kind, proprietary, whatever, safely. And we know that realistically, people don't upgrade the software they use. So we have to build a custom sandbox to make that work. Uh, we can actually save users of Sandstorm from, app, from bugs in the apps and in the Linux kernel. Just this year, there's at least three Linux kernel vulnerabilities that Sandstorm apps can't exploit, and three app CVEs that, apps that 
uh, Sandstorm defangs, in effect. So uh, I said this is perfect for Meteor apps. No. Uh, I, I claim this is perfect for Meteor apps. Uh, in particular, you can take a Meteor app, package it for Sandstorm, distribute that package to somebody, and they can trust that your app is running sandboxed. So the data that they give to your app running on their servers, Sandstorm makes sure that data can't be leaked outside of their servers, which is a kind of trust that isn't easy to get in software. Uh, with software the service hosting. And also you can write less code because Sandstorm has a built-in way to create multiple instances of an app which you can use for multiple documents or multiple chat systems or so on. Uh, so that's what I have for you. Sandstorm is an alternative to Google Docs. It is a package manager for web apps, and I think it's a perfect fit for Meteor apps. Thanks. Uh, do we have time for questions? Two questions. Great. Do we have time for two questions? Do we have questions for two? Oh, uh, negative one question. Thanks to Nena, our designer, for making these amazing graphics. OK, questions. So you're all going to package things for Sandstorm now, I take it? <laughs> Great. I've got a quick question. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, long question. story short, what? Repeat oh, question. the question is, will we have a payments gateway for projects to be able to take payments uh, inside the Sandstorm platform? There is an app marketplace after all. You'd imagine there's some market aspect to that. And the answer is yes, eventually. We don't have it ready yet. Yeah. Any import features from existing apps that don't support the platform? So the question was, are there import features for existing apps that don't support Sandstorm? Uh, the short answer is, each Sandstorm app can provide its own import functionality, but we don't have something sort of platform level to enable that. Uh, and I think we should make that, and we haven't made it yet. I thought I saw a third question. Sneak uh, in, hurry. <laughs> okay, fine, bye. Okay, thanks a lot, Ashish. <laughs>